Greetings and salutations. It's turned into a beautiful afternoon, and I'm doing some afternoon drawing here. It's been a while since I've done any kind of talking on this channel. I, I'm not a, I'm not generally a very talkative person to begin with. So finding an excuse to talk while I'm drawing, and as the gray hairs mount on the top of my head, the ability of essentially chewing gum and walking and rubbing your stomach at the same time becomes more tedious, so I don't choose to do it very often. Sometimes it becomes necessary. Let's see if I get that. There we go. Got a window open. The birds are singing. The wind is blowing. Living out in the countryside on the outskirts of a small farm community, you'll hear trucks rolling by. So one of the things I do get asked quite a lot is the pen that I use. And I use a very cheap, very basic Hunt 102 nib. Nothing exciting, nothing extraordinary, nothing exotic. Just a cheap, cheap Hunt 102 pen. And this is a wooden dowel. Let's see. But yeah, it's, I just carve it up to fit the nib. One of the things that I've always endeavored to do is to make these supplies as universally available as possible. Nothing extraordinary, nothing exotic, nothing complicated. Very, very basic. And it doesn't stem from any kind of professional preference. I'm not a professional artist. I've never been a professional artist. I spent the last 20 years, 20 years plus working in retail. And before then I worked at a ranch resort kitchen, started off as a dishwasher and worked my way up to the sous chef, the second in command to the executive chef, a perfect opportunity to get sore at. by the executive chef because he screwed up something and I was the I was the uh, the opportunity for scapegoat it's all good but yeah I have worked 20 years in retail so I'm not a professional I think in all of my life I've sold maybe two or three pieces of artwork and usually to friends so I'm not that's that's one of the things here is is that I'm I haven't done any tutorials or how-to's because it's, and then I know an awful lot of the internet is all about fake it to make it. If you can pretend that you're an expert on something, people will buy it. And that's, that's you know, I get that, that's fine. Used car salesmen have used that for decades. But that's, it's, that's not something that I would, I would do and it's tough for me to to come up with a whole bunch of of uh, tutorials to explain 
how this is done and that is done when I'm not a professional. All of this has all been through experimentations. So I can only explain how I do something or how I screwed something up, but I don't have any, I don't have any point of reference to say that I'm an expert on inking. To some extent, I'm successful at what I've, what I've done with the pen, but again, I won't necessarily classify myself as an expert, but that also is kind of a BS excuse for me to to do low effort videos on this channel. It's low effort is great if you got twenty or thirty subscribers, but you know that's not that's not that's not anymore the case. So I'm somewhat obligated now to be more forthright and more uh, proactive in at least explaining how I accomplish some of the effects that I do. So I will have to say one thing. So one of the one of the aspects about using the dowels and the, I don't have the camera set to autofocus. I set them to manual focus usually because it's either focusing on my hand or on the pen and not on the paper and it's no one wants to watch a video that where the video is constantly hunting and hunting for something to focus on. But one of the reasons why the lack of consistency with pen points and the pen holders there you go is that the specific different holder identifies what that pen does so this particular pen holder is for a pen point that's really good at really fine 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 thin lines and this one right here is for really heavy thick lines and these two are intermediary they do both very well so that's one of the reasons why they have a variety of pen holders because each one that's the thing about the paper and these nibs is that over the course of time constant use on the paper is going to alter the nature of the, the nib itself. And that has a problem too because if you have a pen point that's working absolutely great, eventually it's going to stop working right because that, that sweet spot that that pen has been formed into that produces just that fine line, well, it's just worn out. So, it's not much of a video here, me drawing and blabbering about whatever, but I figured it was, it was time for me to start getting into the habit of, you know, producing, producing actual like legitimate content.
instead of stupid stupid short videos with the recording of the birds in my backyard seems kind of lame that's definitely low effort So there.